Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Air Holler 2 with Mimi Her 37. Well, it's that time again. We did five flights after the um, check ride in the Duke, and so now it's time to move off, uh, on, I should say, over to the Chieftain. It's the Piper PA 31350 Chieftain. This particular add on is from Alabeo. Always love those Carnot Alabo planes. Got tons of them too. They do so many good twins and stuff. And that's exactly what this is. Let's go over. We need to buy. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a couple. I haven't flown in a very long time. As you can see down here at the cash, I let it get up to over 2.7 million. So we've got tons of money to play with. I can never remember. Go. Here we go. Marketplace. So we're gonna buy a couple of them. You didn't know some of them have winglets, some of them don't, apparently. Uh, I kind of like this one, just kind of military color. And we're a cargo company, so I kind of like that. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that one. It's, uh, what, 564 grand? Like I said, we got 2.7, so no problems at all. Let's go ahead and buy that. Uh, I see, I don't know what to do, company will say. Uh cargo because we don't do passengers really for us I'm gonna put that over in Huntington and let's go ahead and buy another one I'll go ahead and say no for right now let's buy one that I kind of like that blue one I don't know it's kind of different that light blue I'm gonna go ahead and buy that one and we'll say company I can never remember what to do cargo again we're gonna put that at Hilton Head There we go. Not type reading right now. So what we'll do is we'll we'll fly one ourselves. I'll put Caitlin in the other one. And our two Dukes, uh, we'll switch those over to passengers and we'll get those flying passenger flights. And make even more money. I don't know if I don't know if we lease any of these or not. I I wish it would tell you because I don't know I think we've bought them all but I'm thinking maybe the Dukes were leased I can't really remember see I can't recall I don't know how, how we even find that out so I have to look at that sometime and we'll have to actually hire some more people but I'll do that uh, we don't need to do that on the recording I uh, gotta get them for the Duke so let's go ahead and add type rating. See, I don't have the station. I need to do that. I keep saying I need to do that. I really do need to do that. So let's go ahead for the Chiefs. This guy costs us 906. And we'll do the one here at Huntington. It would be nice. Let's try Hilton Head. I think we tried doing with them somewhere else and we still got the jitters. But we'll try that Hilton Head just to see how that works. Let's see here. 261 mile range that's good right there and let's go ahead and move on over to the plane all right everybody there we are at our chieftain to me it kind of looks a lot like the uh Cessna 404 Titan a lot very cool plane well I should have shown the stats for it for like cargo like this holds almost a thousand pounds more cargo other than the Dukes, so it's going to be really helpful in making a lot more money. Hopefully, we, we're probably going to get the jitters again. I don't know why, but in the check ride, too, it takes forever for this thing to start up, for FSX to start up. I don't know why there's like an interference here. And I don't have a ton of experience flying this plane. I ran through the startup procedures just a second ago. I'm going to go ahead and put the parking brake on. They're not real, uh, there's not a whole lot of them. We'll just kind of go through them. I know I want to do one thing real quick here. Dark and cold. So I should have everything off. Uh, so actually, <laughs> I, was, uh, I did that controls. We'll go ahead and check the controls real quick. That looks good. Rudder pedals, everything good there. Let's go ahead and knock these off. Let's go down here. Fuel selectors need to be both on inboard. They are both on inboard. Cross feed is off. Fuel firewall shutoffs are on. They have to be pushed in. That's good. 
All right, alternate air. Alternate air, they're pushed in, so that's good. That's off. Circuit breakers, we'll say everything is pushed in and good. Electrical switches are, should be all off. Alternator, uh, circuit breaker switches, they need to go to the front. That's good. Avionic switches are off. The master switch over here is off. Let's see here. Alternate uh, static source is off. To put it on, you push. I don't even know if that actually is functional because I can't move it uh, to the left, so that looks good. Idles. Uh, mixtures and idle cutoff for both, so that looks good. Alright, so master switch, go ahead and turn that on. I'm going to turn the alternator uh, switch on as well. Cow flaps need to be open. Left. I don't know why I can't. Is it one at a time or something? There it goes. Maybe it is just one at a time. Oh, crap. So it's just one, apparently. Alright. Kind of weird. I was scrolling the middle mouse wheel because I thought it was down two, but not. I was putting that back up. That was the problem. All right. Gear lights, three green. So we're good there. Annunciator panel. We need to test that. And that looks good. So alternator in up lights, uh, left and right are both on. So that's good. Pneumatic source malfunction lights. I believe that is on as well. Let's take a little better look at that. Yeah, the right and left. That looks good because those are on. Door jar lights are off. So that's good. Boost pump and fuel flow lights checked. You can see those are both on. Uh, emergency fuel pumps are off. Prop sync off. I don't know... I don't know if these, uh, I have to go up to the top, if these are the emergency ones, uh, see that's the fuel, I don't know if those are emergency or not, those are both off though, um, and the prop sync, I couldn't find where prop sync is, I don't think it would be up here, I couldn't find prop sync, so maybe that'll be like one of the things we find later on, I couldn't find it, so we'll say that that's off. Uh, autopilot and flight director switch are off. Seatbelts and no smoking signs on. I don't know where exactly where you even turn those on at, to be honest. So we'll say that, that is good as well. Alright, so engine start, normal start. Uh, we'll be using the battery, not the APU. So I'll start up the left engine first. Open about a half inch on the throttle. Prop goes a full forward like it is. Mag switches to the left come on. Mixture rich for six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to idle cutoff. Prop area clear. Go ahead and engage the starter. Ah, I didn't get it in time. Ah, there it goes. So advance this. I see it didn't get it. There we go. Advance that. That looks good. Oil and uh, temperature. Oil pressure and temperature are over here. Hard to get to. Hard to see, but you can see oil pressure's in green. Oil temperature looks good. It's coming up. So that's good. Alternator in up. Uh, looks like that was kind of looks like that's still on. No, that's the fuel flow. So the pneumatic and the alternator for the left engine both went out, so that's good. Now it says pneumatic, or let's see, gear handle hydraulic check down. I don't know how you, how exactly you do that. I'm not going to mess with that because I don't want <laughs> to screw something up. But it says down, then returns to neutral. Or so I'm not really too sure about that, so I'll leave. By the way, it did. I don't like how it doesn't tell you to do your lights first. Let's go ahead and that's our beacon. Let's go ahead. Well, all right. So that's on. I think that's all we wanted. Well, see now if you move it to the top, 
Because wait a second. So it's a little bit different. So let's look outside. I think that's how we want it right there. All right, so that looks good. So let's go for our right engine. Up about a half inch, open a half inch. Uh, throttle, actually it says throttle forward. I'm not quite, oh, prop, full forward. Mag switches come on. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's probably a little quick, but <laughs> that's all right. Auto cutoff. Prop is clear. Uh, let's see if we can grab it. And full forward. I, it's not real a realistic start, which kind of sucks, but we'll say that that's good. And let's check oil pressure and temperature over here for the right engine it's in the green for the pressure temperature looks okay and it's coming up so that looks good and we can skip the hot start and the flooded start before taxing the APU would be removed we didn't use it obviously master switch is on lights is required we've got that heater air conditioner we're not gonna mess with that Avionics can come on now. Let's move ourselves over here. Turn our avionics on. Now all of a sudden I can't click one of those. I think I'm too zoomed in or something. Now I can click one. Alright, so everything looks good there. And get rid of the the message thing. Alright, that looks good. Altimeter, I'm going to go ahead and just click the button to reset that, so that should be good. Electric trim, it says on and checked. I can't ever remember. I'm going to hit that on. I believe that is electric trim right there. I'm not exactly sure how we test that or how you checked it. I've got that on. Autopilot, it says checked and off. Uh, here's the autopilot switch right here it is off so we'll say that that's good now it says fuel valves all positions I'm guessing that just means I don't know exactly how it, see if you hit that it's gonna turn that one off so I'm not quite sure exactly what the hell it wants all right left engine still goes so I'm not gonna mess with that because I don't like that radios my ATC is jacked it's probably still jacked I don't know what happened it my last light wouldn't let me hit anything. I can't talk to anybody or anything. Let's see if it says anything. Let's say straight out. Yeah, see, it goes blank. And now the sound is down, so I don't, I don't... I know how to fix the sound, but... I'm thinking everything is jacked. Let me go ahead and fix the sound, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's see if that fixed it. Now, nah, see, it just it keeps doing that. I don't know what the heck... It's just... I don't know why what, what that's happening. Alright. Autopilot, fuel valves, radios, we just mess with. And parking brakes, we'll release those. It, see, it doesn't even tell you to like turn on the taxi light or anything. Uh, taxi light, we'll turn that on. Oh, here's your seatbelts and no smoking. Although, we're a cargo plane, so don't worry about that. Your circulation fans, we'll turn those on. Well... Ground vent fan. We'll go ahead and turn that on. Sounds like those fans went off. <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to worry too much about what runway we take off on. In taxi, it will go on right over there. I'm not even sure what runway that is. Taxi and take off. Good to see Air Hauler 2's got us. So I don't know if we can take off in either direction from right here. I'm not sure how much runway we've got. Bring the power down just a little bit. And let's stop right here for a second. 
I kind of want to go down to the right just in case. I think we've got enough room, maybe even for both runways, no matter what direction. Because we, we don't have any load, and we're pretty light on fuel, I do believe. But just to make sure, we'll come on down here and to the end of the runway and take off. I don't think that there's any taxiways before the end of the runway from here. I feel like we're going really, really quick. <laughs> I don't know if we are or not. Is that our actual ground speed, I wonder? 25, 26? I'm not sure if this thing actually calculates the ground speed correctly or not. It looks like it is, because it looks like it's going down. So we are definitely a little fast, so we'll slow her down a little bit. Ah, and then it clicks off after about 20. I'm gonna lose my procedures. They're gonna get blown off by this fan over here. And we'll do our engine run up as soon as we get down here. That'll just take a minute or two, hopefully. And then we'll be able to get on out of here. And the fuel lights, the warning lights, will go on when you bring the uh, engines up. Bring the power up. I don't have much experience with this plane. I was messing with it just a little bit ago. Hopefully my camera's got I had to move the camera up a little bit. They're coming in to land. It was just felt like we were sunk down too much. You couldn't see the uh, runway. Everything. I hate that. But I moved it up and I think we should be good. All right, we'll stop her right here. We'll go ahead and put on the parking brake. All right, make sure I got that parking brake on, yep. All right, so mixtures are in full forward, prop controls are full forward, the counting flaps are open. Engine instruments will say everything looks good. All right, going up to 1500 RPM. Looks pretty good right there at 1500 RPM. Prop controls, max drop 500 RPM. All of a sudden, the uh, power is going up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do our feather check. It did not feather at all. <laughs> what the heck? Unreal. It's not feathering at all. That's very odd. What the hell? I don't get quite get that. Gyro pressure, four to six gyro pressure is clear over here. Uh, and it's I know that over to the right will look good if you all want to see it just to make sure. But I'm not lying to you. We'll check it. You can see right there in the middle at five, and like it said between four and six, so at five is good. All right, now it says all trainer output. I don't know exactly how to check that. You can't, I don't know if you can actually check the load or not. I'm not sure if this is how it wants you to check that or if it wants you to do uh, the old landing lights and everything. Check it right there. By the way, I don't know if I need, if I can, uh, how do I, uh, where's the, that goes to zero, but everything still looks good. The plane actually is kind of moving. The brakes don't hold this thing that well, I've noticed that. Landing lights off. I'm not sure if we totally test that correctly or not. All right, so throttles, that's the problem here. Well, alternator in in the uh, in-up lights are off. Actually, everything is off now. Throttles to 2300, which is gonna be kind of weird because as you, like I said, the plane is not holding itself, the brakes. I'm 
and have to hold the brake. All right, we'll say that's about 2300 right there. Let's go ahead and see. I gotta let go. It's just back on procedures. Check the mags. Oh, all right. Cut that. See, the brakes will not hold this thing. Because I noticed that on takeoff. We'll have to say that that's good. Because I can't check the mags, obviously. Because this thing can't hold itself. All right. We'll stop here for a second. Fuel selectors. We know that they're both on inboard. That looks good. Fuel quantity. It says sufficient. I saw the gauges around here a minute ago. There we go. There's a the fuel. They're both 50%, so that's good. Mixtures and props are both full forward, so that's good. Flaps checked and set zero for normal takeoff, or 15 for short fuels. So we've got them at zero. Autopilot is off. Let's see. Pedal heat and prop heat and windshield heat as you want them. I'll go ahead and just turn them on just to be safe. So that's all on. Avionics as required. Transponder, we'll go ahead and turn that on. Make sure I got my landing lights on now that we're on, actually on the runway. Strobes. All right, let's get turned around and get on out of here. Yeah, the brakes just will not hold, so there's nothing really I can do about that. And we can't ask for permission to take off because something is... I don't know what broke the ATC. The only thing that's been different is I uh, installed World of AI. I had Sky AI or whatever uh, it was called and huge frame drop, like 10, while in the air, no planes around me. So I went back to World of AI. All right. Pull forward, that's about 43 on the pressure. Wow, straight right. Unbelievable. And about 2575 on the props. We're already supposed to be in the air. Wow, that thing got up quick. I think rotation is somewhere around 87 or so. Gears coming up. Obviously, we don't have any flaps. I'm going to bring the power back to about 40. I have to turn the E and B off. There's the Jaggeds. That's what I was afraid of. ATC's yelling at me. <laughs> 3,023. We need to go ahead and bring the, the props back as well. It's about, I believe it's 2,400. So 80 should have it pretty good. The ATC's yelling at me, but there's nothing I can do about it. All right, 3,023. Dag on. This plane is going to be a trip, I have a feeling. Reset my view. And I'm not going to worry too much about the EGT temperature and everything on this flight. I, I'm afraid we're going to have our hands full the first time really flying this plane much. I'll lighten my load as much as possible. I'm trying to trim her down a little bit. I hate the avionics in this plane. Uh, this right here, I absolutely hate those. We had that, that in the Seneca 5. The autopilot uh, always had a problem with it, especially on the descent. We could never get the vertical speed to work, right? Hopefully that isn't too much of a problem here. Can't remember how to turn the range down on that. I'll look at that in a second. I think it's actually right here. I had us descending because I wasn't paying attention. I was messing with that. That's never good. Got my hands back on the controls. It's 
Seems like we're getting quite quite a ways away. Alright. 219. Level out at 3023. I gotta tell you, I can't even hardly read. Looks like 232 right there. extremely hard to read should probably uh fi redo my camera we've got to get down about 700 feet as well let's see we've gone past it looks like we're at 212 then we'll have to zoom in or something because it's, it's almost impossible to read that Two one nine. Bring the power down a little more. Yeah, I don't want to get real far away from the airport. I don't want to have to fly all the way back. Looks like we're at two one nine. There's looks like two two zero. I just don't like the fact that you can't hardly see it. Three zero two three. All right, now three zero six and two nine two three. Increase the power just a little bit. It's like 291, 294, 295. Turn 178 and down to 2600. down a little much one seven eight kind of lost that in my head for a minute I was thinking two something rolled out a little late I think we're at 172, it looks like. Alright, back to the airport, which I believe is to the north. Okay, landing or better required. Yeah, for sure. Of course, we're going to get the jitters, and that's always fun. I don't, like I say, I don't know why mine does it, and nobody else seems to have a problem. I guess it's just my luck. See, I believe, you can't quite see it, but we're like over there. Unfortunately, we don't really fly this area much. Alright, the props are at 2400, which is exactly where we want them, actually. It's weird, you would think you would, they would be full forward, but they actually aren't supposed to be full forward. Or at least that seems odd to me. But me not being a real pilot. It just seems like most planes I always thought were full forward, but the last few we've flown have been like that. We actually don't have them full forward. Yeah, airport... Uh, you can see the approach from the other side it's right there. Actually, can't I don't have a visual on it just yet. I think 
we need to get just to the right a little bit. That is all the flash. It's just gonna be right over there. Those low level clouds so there you can just see it in the distance the red light I can't actually make out the runway just yet I believe we have to go out to the right a little more to come straight in if you look at the approach it looks like it's gonna be right through here I don't want to have to turn at the last second either man with the uh, glitching that we always get that makes things also oh not fun. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull back on the power a little bit. We're already low. I'm going to go ahead and drop the gear. I think we need to still come out to the right just a little bit. So uh, I'll keep it right here before we turn to it. I just hope it doesn't glitch. Usually it glitches right before we get to the runway, so hopefully we're good there. Like I said, I raised my view up a little bit, so we should be able, I should be able to see it a little better. Gave her a quick check before uh, we actually did the check ride. Just to make sure I wouldn't suck too bad at it. So I don't, obviously don't fly this plane very much. I don't think we've ever done a video with this plane. On any series flaps coming out I feel like we're still descending a little bit too much there we go add just a little bit of power at the same time we need to slow down just a little bit I'm not gonna worry about it too much Or trim two nose down. Get back on the yoke here. And trim it out a little better here. We got some lightning in the distance. You see all the clouds and everything. I didn't think the weather would be that bad. Not as bad as it's getting down in Texas. They're about to have that Hurricane Harvey, I guess, make landfall tonight. Actually, cannot see the runway, so I'm not sure if we're coming straight in. I think we may need to get a little left here. All right, and now we're back on the glide slope. I feel like we're still gonna descend a little quick there. Trim her back up. Now I feel a little better here. Now see, that was the thing. We got real far away from the airport. Just my trim and get off the power a little bit since we're getting a little high. Oh, here come the glitches already. Seems a little early. We're at full flaps now, by the way. Yeah, that is real early to be glitching, it seems. By the way, our we're a little high and our speed is getting a little too low, more than I would want it. It's so hard to be precise like this. I feel like I need to add power, but obviously we, you want to decrease power to get down, but my, I feel like my speed is getting a little out of control. Although now it looks like my speed is a little high. <laughs> 
I gotta say, it's hard to, how can you be precise when it's acting like this? I feel like we're gonna get too low here at the last second. So I'm trying to hold the nose up a little bit. Increasing the power just a little bit to help with that. Come on! Looks like we were able to hold off that airspeed correctly. Bringing down the power. I feel like we're a little high. Trying. Oh, it's so hard. Oh, we've got a floater. And then as soon as you touch down it, it goes okay. Floated just a little bit at the end. But all in all, not too bad. Especially for uh, having to deal with the glitches like that, I feel like it's not too bad at all. It's an owner's landing, no brakes or nothing. Alright, I'll take the runway. I was gonna say, or take the taxiway to the right, but I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll take the one to the left. End up exactly back where we were. Go ahead and retract the flaps. All right, very nice. Let's go ahead, come up here. Landing lights, you can go off, leave those on. With the anti collision need to go off. Because I do believe anti collision are the strobes. And transponder, I'll go ahead and turn you off. Wow, this thing, it's got so much power. I mean, I just moved the power up a little bit and you can see it wants to really get us going. Tons of power in this thing. Let me see if I've got an after landing checklist. Alright, kind flaps are open. Wing flaps are up. F emergency fuel pumps off. Heater switch if used off. Prop controls full forward. Well, it says forward. It doesn't say full forward. I'll go ahead and put them full forward. Strobes off. So I think we're good here. Turn the E and B back on. All right. Now I feel like I can get back on the controls here. Probably get her going a little fast as well. Yeah. Now I feel like we're flying again. That gone. Yeah, so the only thing we couldn't find was the prop sink. We, I've looked for that. Also, what was the other one? Emergency fuel pumps. I don't know if they're talking about just the fuel pumps, like that we would normally use, or if it's emergency fuel, like actual emergency fuel pumps. I'm not too sure. So that's the only two things we really need to take a look at. And we'll bring this right straight up to the building. I can't remember if this is where we uh, started from on the parking or not. Bring it right up here. And we'll stop her. Shut down. Bring the parking brake on. 
avionics can go off. The only way I don't know how to turn these all off except for you just using the avionics master switch. It didn't bring it off either, did it? Yeah, that's weird. Because I don't know how to exactly how to get those off. That's kind of odd. They all stay on. Autopilot and flight director. We've never used the autopilot. So that's all good. Throttles are at idle. Now it says mag grounding. I don't even know what mag grounding means. It says ch check it. That's it. I don't know how that's all of the, the shutdown procedures. I don't know how that exactly ended it like that. But okay. Taxi lights. Need, I know that needs to be off. Let's turn all this off. Seatbelts, no smoking, research fans. That's so odd that it makes that sound. These all need to go off. Fuel pumps are off. Alright, alternator. Circuit breaker's off. I'm just doing this on my own, by the way. Mags. Well, I should have probably just done the cutoff first in the prop controls all right we can turn these off right there alternator battery switch looks like and they, that stays on one of those things all right so congratulations you passed the test Initial climb, check. General handling, check. Landing result, check. Correct airport, check. Landing gear, check. No overspeed, check. Bank angle, check. Pitch angle, check. No stall, check. So we done good. And we had a greaser. Our first landing with the plane is a greaser. That's pretty nice. Air hauler 2 being so slow. We could have checked the results. Oh, so it is going to bring it to us. Uh, it was a 13 total minutes landed. Took off at 728, landed at 742. All right, took off, take off fuel, 333 pounds, uh, landed with 294. Let me mute my mic for one second. All right, max altitude, 3,749 feet. Max, max pitch, we have 12.53. Max roll, 34.3. Max speed, 183.5 knots. Minimum G 0 0.77, minimum G exceeded 0. Max G is 1.27, max G exceeded 0. Stall false, quarter speed false, landing description greaser. Gear down true, landing on asphalt, no damage to the runway, no damage to the plane. Came down, wow, 52 feet a minute. That's really gentle. Landing speed 65 knots, landing pitch negative 3.6 looks. Six, sorry, landing roll negative 1.09, landing heading 34.15, wind speed 7, wind direction 32. So we probably landed with the wind. Maybe that's why it was so gentle. Fuel consumption was 29 an hour. Update aircraft stats to this value, current 41. Oh man, that's a good question. Um, I'm going to say no. Because that will affect AI pilots more than us. We'll just need to know that. Well, I don't know if we'll need to really know anything. Just checking. Because with the Duke, we ended up burning a lot more fuel. Like it would say we had a range of like 300 miles, but we would need to have more fuel than that. So I think that'll be okay. Because I think that's kind of the same with like the Pipers and stuff. Uh, or the Pipers, like the Cessna 172, all the eight to eight aircraft, you know, we lean them out and we use a lot less fuel. So I don't know. It should be okay. We'll just do like five flights with this, move up to a bigger plane. Maybe we'll do like the Twin Otter next or something. We're, I feel like we're kind of dragging out maybe a little too much. Uh, so we'll jump into some bigger aircraft. Because then we can do like the Twin Otter, then maybe like a, I don't know. We'll get into like a regional aircraft. I don't know. I kind of want to do a King Air, but I think we'll hold off on the King Air. And just like jump into a Twin Otter. I'm not sure exactly how much those are going to cost though. And of course we need another base pretty soon. At 1.6 million, we could probably open up just about anywhere. Although we'll stay in Florida for just a little bit. And we'll just kind of work our way kind of like that. 
But uh, yeah, and I'll hire some more people. I'll get those Dukes flying um, past year, and they should be uh, pick up some pretty good money with those as well. Anyhow, that's going to be it for this episode, everybody. I hope you all did enjoy it. I will catch you guys on the next flight.